the combustion of propane. We want to do the combustion of propane in order to heat up 30 kilograms of water from 20 degrees Celsius to 65 degrees Celsius. Combustion is the reaction of a substance with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. Our propane is at 20 degrees Celsius and at a pressure of one atmosphere. What volume of propane must we burn? To solve this problem, we need to calculate how much energy can be produced by the combustion of each mole of propane and then compare it with the amount of energy required to heat the water. First, let's write the equation for the combustion of propane. We need to balance the equation, starting first with the three carbons, then the eight hydrogens, and finally, the 10 oxygens on each side. We will use the principles of Hess's law and the enthalpy of formation values to calculate the amount of energy that one mole of propane can produce. The delta H of the reaction will be equal to the sum of the enthalpies of formation of the products minus that of the reactants. Each of the terms are also multiplied by their respective coefficients. Here's a more simple way to write this. We insert the given values for the enthalpies of formation. We need to remember that the enthalpy of formation of gaseous oxygen is zero. The combustion of one mole of propane produces 2,219.8 kilojoules of energy. Now, we need to determine how much energy we need to heat up the water. We will use our equation that we use for calorimetry. We put in the values that were given to us and that describe the water. The mass has to be converted from kilograms to grams. We don't need to convert the temperature into kelvins because this equation simply uses a temperature variation, which is the same in Celsius or kelvins. This answer is given in joules, but we will convert it to kilojoules to be able to compare it with our other answer. So one mole of C3H8 will produce 2,219.8 kilojoules of energy. How many moles do we need to produce 5,648.4 kilojoules? We need to do a simple calculation to find this answer. We find that it will take 2.545 moles of propane to produce the 5,648.4 kilojoules of energy necessary to heat up the water. Now that we know how many moles we need, we can use the ideal gas equation to see what this value is in liters. We insert into the equation what we know about our propane. It's at a pressure of one atmosphere, a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius, and we have 2.545 moles. We have two different gas constants in this course, so make sure you look at the units in the equation and use the constant that will allow the units to cancel correctly. All the data was given to us with three significant digits, so we round our answer to three digits. The volume of propane that we need is 61.2 liters.